Great Britain is the home of the two longest standing, preeminent, celebrated interior brands in the world, Sanderson and Morrison Co. Both these companies, established well over 150 years ago, are without doubt the epitome of what is for many impeccable English decoration. And both these companies have supplied and continue to supply interior products to the royal household. Here at the Sanderson Archives, housed just outside of London, the illustrious history of both these iconic British brands can clearly be traced. Well, this is it. This is the Sanderson Archive. It's the culmination of about 155 years of collecting. Um, but more importantly, it houses the Morris Collection of Wallpapers, an enormous and phenomenal resource for the design studio, um, which acts as inspiration for their new collections. So let's take a look, shall we? One of the iconic patterns is this particular one. It's called Pimpernel, designed by William Morris by 1876, much more stylized and flat compared to the papers that were available at the time. We've got the head flowers and then the silhouette of the leaves and foliage in the background, which again stylizes the print. So I suppose if you wanted to identify one design that was like quintessentially sunless and you'd go for something like this. It's called Chelsea, launched in 1960s and became the iconic pattern of Sanderson. It's complicated, it has 20 colours, which at the time was unique for the business, and it became an instant success. Um, it's still in the collection today and has been relaunched very recently, and is the most copied design in the world. If you say, think floral, think Sanderson, that's exactly what you've got here. With over 12,000 wallpaper documents, the archive houses the largest collection of wallpapers in the UK. This is augmented by an unrivaled collection of textiles, from silks, velvets and chintzes, to French toiles and calico prints. The vast collection is referenced by the design studio, who are able to draw upon the company's rich and vibrant heritage. The first place I normally look for inspiration, of course, is the archive, because, you know, our archive is unique and it's, it's a great place to find a lot of designs so they will look there but we also source designs from um, other museums we buy in archive material from document houses they go out and they find the designs and they put the mood boards together they put the color boards together um, and when they feel that they've got the bones of the collection they will start painting out the designs all our designs are hand painted some of them take up to three months to paint from start to finish The great thing about designing for Morris is being able to sit and paint for two months solid, just creating a beautiful piece of artwork. I've got lots of favourite Morris designs. There isn't really any one that I don't like in the collection. I like the new ones. I like their freshness. To follow in his footsteps is a huge honour. When we take designs from the archive, we rarely now reproduce them exactly as they were. We have so many more modern techniques for engraving, ways of printing. So within the studio, they normally repaint them for modern print techniques to give them a fresher, more contemporary feel. Sanderson is now developing as a lifestyle brand, as well as wallpapers and fabrics. We also have bed linen, we have china, we have paint, very, very popular collections. All of our collections are shown at our showroom in Chelsea Harbour where there are always beautiful displays of our new product together with the entire range within the pattern books they have there. The outstanding achievement for both Sanderson and Morris is not simply that they have continued to create inspirational wallpapers and fabrics for such a long period of time, it is, in fact, their resolve and fortitude. These two brands continue to manufacture their very British products in the UK. Such investment and commitment to British manufacturing is rare and admirable, ensuring these two iconic brands will continue to remain true to their illustrious heritage.